This is a demonstration of QC Calc Real Time, an SPC program by Prolink. Today I'm going to show you the software running, but I want to go over a few goals of the software so you can understand our motivation. The original goal of the program was to provide easy to use data collection that would work on automatic inspection equipment and collect up to 3,000 features per part. And it will switch automatically to any part program that you may choose. It will display up to 500 live plots on each part. It will operate without humans being present, and therefore it can never ask questions. We also uh, provide tools to reduce all this raw data into information. That kind of reduction might be identifying bad features or parts, filtering parts made by different cavities, different molds, mach machines, or fixtures, we may want to be able to, you may want to be able to identify any trends or errors and therefore automatically alert you when that happens. We do that by printing reports to paper, by printing the reports to file, and of course optionally emailing those reports to you um, at your desk. The third thing we like to do is export data to all the databases, all the spreadsheets, and possibly other SPC formats. So today what I'm going to do in the demonstration is I'll collect data, I will report data, we'll make a PDF out of that, we will create filters, and then export the data. So that's the goal today. Let's get to the software itself. This is QC Calc SPC real time. It is live right now looking for data from your CMM. I don't have a CMM here today so I'm going to use a little training CMM that we use that generates fake data. The part program I'm going to write is called My Part 9. It has nine features. I'm going to have a, a trace field called Cavity, an employee called Bruce. I'm not actually going to write a program, it's just going to generate nine random numbers. So let's get started and then I'll, sh I'll point out the screen itself. If I run the part program one time, you'll notice the sample file closes and then automatically our a new file that was just created called my part 9 you can see that up here in the top has been created only one part has arrived let me just inspect a few more parts so we can have something to look at it's I know you can't run your CMM quite this fast but it is an indication uh, or tool just to make data rapidly so I can I can talk about it now as I'm clicking this button you can see the data coming in what you're seeing is nine different plots. This is feature one on the part, and this is feature nine. The labels uh, depict that. Normally, these labels will be whatever the part program features are called in, in your CMM. The graphs, each graph that you're seeing here, I just double clicked it to zoom in on it. This uh, upper spec limit, the red line, was taken from your part program. So, it wasn't this one, and also the nominal. The raw data, of course, is plotted right uh, between those limits. None of this work has to be done by you. QC Calc will do it automatically. So as I inspect more parts, you can start to see um, the data coming in. I'm going to change the cavity uh, to 2 as if I answered a question here. And there's one that has a red background. Let's talk about that one. I'm going to double click it. If the value breaks a spec limit, it, the background color turns red, indicating a problem. If it's green, of course, it is in between the yellow control limits. And if it is gray, if I, if I can get a gray one to pop up, it is it is broke a control limit, but not a spec limit. Now, um, the, you'll notice a couple things. There's one right there. That one broke a yellow line, but not a red one. As I float the mouse over the various points, you can see the feature label up here and then the deviation right here is from nominal. So it's a little calculator. This is the point I'm on. This is subgroup size is 1. There are 16 records on the screen, 1 through 16. And that's part, uh, there's room for 20 parts total. So double clicking again, you can now see more detail on that particular plot. In the lower left corner, you can see a calculation. In this case, it's CPK. That is changeable. If you want to just to right click, and you can display various calculations down here, but I'll leave it at CPK for now. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is printing this data. It's as simple as 
report print stat summary is the report type here is the template I'm going to use which is editable by you and I'm going to just show you all records displayed by clicking the print button our print preview screen pops and you can see all of the features on the part your nominals and tolerances various calculations that most people look for these are this is a kind of a classic report that most people want if you wanted to save this right now as a PDF file you could just click the disk select PDF as the format select the desktop uh, I'm going to pick junk because I see one's already there click save and I'll say yes overwrite it and now what you'll see on the desktop is a PDF called let me get rid of this junk.pdf let's just open that file so you can see it looks exactly like ours although the Adobe is, seems to be taking a little bit of time here to actually open not quite sure what's going on there and there is our same report in PDF At least you can see that it is easily printed out you can go directly to the PDF file you do not need the PDF writer we have it built into the software so I happen to have both in this machine but you don't need to do that okay so collecting data is as simple as running your inspection part program and reporting as simple as pushing a print button now as I floated the mouse over the points you'll see this readout down here showing you the value that I'm on this is the deviation up here people wanted more detail on this so we added this point property button here and now you can see I have the time and date deviation I have the spec limits that we got out of your part program here's the trace fields notice uh, cavity 1 is on there and as I move over you can see cavity 2 change the employee further down you can see the calculations that I'm, I'm generating on the visible data all this data here is being uh, calculated and these are the, the summary calculations if I move to this one you can notice these these calculations change if you want a subset of this data such as these five points you can click and drag and highlight those five and this calculation over here now is just on those five parts very handy when you're making a process change and you want to just say well how did that affect the, my calculations you can just highlight it and see it it's uh, the goal is again to reduce the data to information and here you don't even have to print anything you can just use this on-screen calculator now if you wanted to print this subset here of these points you simply could just hit report and say selected data and that same report pops up except this time only five parts are included so just handy tools to make your life a little easier I'm gonna just change this cavity to three I'll inspect a few more parts and you'll see the parts coming in now notice again the cavity on that is oh, I can't see it here's the cavity over here cavity one cavity two and three so there's a mixture of parts made in different cavities I'm going to cancel this for now and I'm bringing up the filter this is a filter that we use for finding these different cavities what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a new ca filter by clicking here I'm going to call this cavity one enter I'm going to filter on cavity is equal to one hit, uh, hit apply and now you can see by clicking on that I've got a subset of all the data if I click on here again I could make another filter called cavity 2 press enter select cavity is equal to 2 I'll apply that and I'll make one more cavity 3 enter I'll select cavity is equal to 3 and OK now I can subset the data very quickly by just clicking on the various cavities and you can see that we got a problem on that cavity 2 so that red point we now know was made on cavity 2 if I press the print button I have a luxury of clicking selected points I'll just show all points displayed 
but this time the report comes up and notice in the lower left corner cavity equals two each report is tagged with the cavity that it was made on so when you're making reports like this and you put them on the table you'll know that this in fact was data made under cavity two conditions so if you're looking for bad cavities or fixtures this is a very quick way of of identifying it I'll shut the filters off by going to none and I'll just hide those filters now these other ones here by the way are just based on date it will calculate what this week is for you it will calculate you know today whatever that date is and then when you print the report you'll see the date let's print the report you'll see the bottom it just says down here that date is between the 10th and the 10th okay I'll get rid of the uh, we'll go back to none and X that off the last thing I am going to show you was the exporting data that's pretty simple as well export data a variety of formats Excel being the most common and here they are there's databases here there's spreadsheets and there are other SPC programs data page being one of them infinity QS lighthouse ODBC formats if you have a SQL type Visual SPC, QDOS, the automotive, a very uh, popular with automotive. But I'll pick, I'll pick uh, Excel, and I'm going to browse to my desktop, and I'm going to, I'm just going to delete these because I don't want them. I'm going to use that name, and I'm going to create junk as my output. And I'm going to select all records displayed and I'm going to export that's just, that's all there is to it now what's going to happen you do not need Excel in this machine it will automatically create the the workbook for you here's the junk workbook and you'll notice the my part 9 is in the sheet name here is the labels here are the labels data starts in row 2 through 21 and here's the cavity numbers as you can see one through two three and of course a little further over is the employee and that's me so all your data is ready to go if anybody wants the data in Excel very very easily done if you want to exp if you set a filter let's just say for a moment here I'm gonna put the filters on and say cavity two data and now I want to export that data I could send it right to the same exact spreadsheet but this time I'm going to go to the advanced button and I'm going to specify uh, a sheet name of cavity 2 and I'm going to export the nominals and tolerances. Now what's happening is QCCalc is taking that same data and adding another sheet to it. So here you have uh, my part 9. Here's cavity 2 data, a little bit less of course. Here's the nominals plus minus tall cavity numbers again all seem to be cavity 2 and here's all the data that was made so it's pretty easy to export your data in a fairly organized fashion okay that's it for this demonstration I just want to show you getting data uh, filtering data printing data and exporting data if you have any questions give us a call we'd be happy to help you out thank you very much